and dear students in today's lecture we will have a bit introduction about the nanobiotechnology uh, first of all before going into detail about nanobiotechnology first of all we will try to discuss what actually nanoscience is nanoscience is basically the study of phenomena and manipulation of materials which are at atomic molecular and macromolecular scale where the their properties differ significantly from those at the larger scales when these atoms molecules and macromolecules are converted at nano scale then their properties will significantly different uh, differ from those at the larger scale so what actually nanotechnology is this is basically the design characterization production and application of structure and devices and systems by controlling their size and shape at nanometer scale it also deals with understanding and controlling of matter at dimensions which are between approximately 100 nanometers where unique phenomena enables the enables their them with the novel applications more specifically it is the imaging modeling measuring designing characterization production and application of structure devices and systems by controlling manipulation of size and shape at the nanometer scale so we can say that dimensions between approximately 1 and 100 nanometers are basically known as the nano scales or the nanometers so we are uh, now interested that who first time coined the term nanotechnology the term was coined in 1974 by norai tanguchi of tokyo science university to describe the semiconductor processes and he first time coined the term nanotechnology so the particles between a pro, uh, 1 and 100 nanometers are basically defined as the nano particles Uh, now we'll discuss about its history long before the era of nanotechnology people were unknowingly uh, coming across various sized nano sized objects and using nano level processes uh, for one example is from the ancient egypt where they were using the nano particles uh, for dyeing their hairs in black However, recent research on hair samples from the ancient Egyptians burial burial sites showed that hair was dyed with the paste from lime, lead oxide, and water. In this dyeing process, gelatinite, lead sulfide nanoparticles are formed. The ancient Egyptians were able to make the dyeing paste, uh, which was reacted with the sulfur, which was part of the hair keratin, and produces the lead sulfide nanoparticles, which provided even and steady dying so uh, we can say that nanoparticles or nanotechnology is present from the ancient time thank you